think she ever loved you? I don't think she ever loved me. Because if she did, it wouldn't be that easy to leave. She just left me out the blue. Filed for divorce and don't love me enough to explain to me why. I got a one-year-old who's now being raised under two different roofs when my whole goal was to break that generational curse of so many divorces in my family. I never cheated, no physical Domestic violence, no side chick. I respect life. I respect the highs and the lows of life. So many people want to pop champagne their whole life. I work 55 hours a week, and I come home, and she never fails me. My little angel is there waiting for me before I even have a chance to pull in to the garage. I want to show you guys this. As soon as she hears that garage door open. You guys see that? That's the reason why I don't give up. That I can't give up. Look at that. Been together. Four and a half years. No, five now. Well, yeah, I guess five now. Five years. Yeah. How much did you spend on our wedding ring? I mean, show it. I mean, go ahead. It's a decent amount, so if you look up like a three-carat diamond, it's a decent amount I spent on her, but she deserves even more. Numbers-wise, what are we talking? I mean, how much was it, 35K? 35K, yeah. 35,000 bucks. Yeah. So he spent that much on a wedding ring for you as a gesture. What does he get in return? I think I should answer that. <laughs> so I, I, I get a partner that's loyal. I get the mother of my children. I get the most beautiful woman that I've ever, you know, been around. And the most important thing is how she treats me and how she treats my family and how she treats her family. So for me, I have a partner for life and it's worth So three of these videos are very inspiration from a man's point of view. All right. The first one is uh, Tyrese who married, signed a prenup Everything went well, his actor has a lot of millions, living a very good life, provide what he stated on that video, right? Now, on that video, the wife, the ex-wife has made a video out in, the, out in the YouTube, how she regret and listened to her toxic friends who wanted, you know, encourage her to be single, X, Y, and Z. Right, I'm not here to bombard everything. Then you got a second video. You never give up as a man. And you see your daughter waiting for you. And the third one is a man is have the one of the best investment, you know, with a woman like that. And it is lovely. You get the one, you know, you get to see the cycle of the whole thing. And, you know... A man is always to protect, responsible, um, you know, to to reduce all the risks, to encounter all the problems. But when you have the cost of living going up and the woman's demands going up, your work is getting stress. You're climbing that ladder. And there should be a breaking point. Like, I don't know their, 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 their backgrounds or what's going on. But that second video, it's sort of like, I can't give up. A man cannot give up. But the moment the woman realised that you're not making enough or whatsoever in today's world, this loyalty test is depending, she'll flog you out. She probably can find better. But what they don't understand is that once you have a child, your dating market is all down the drain. And even if you do find someone, someone's just going to pump and dump. And realize how powerful man that she once had. And that's why I said it's very, can be, too delusional for some women who always have this notion, I want it now, this attitude. And when you have like that, it destroys family. 
you're breaking the generation of divorce. And I'm the same thing as well. I'm pretty sure a lot of guys who, you know, go through divorced parents and they don't want to repeat the same mistake. They want to have, make it better themselves than their parents not to do domestic violence or X, Y, and Z, providing for the family and, you know, and if you don't, and if you did all the best as you can, and she still walks away, because maybe the social media that she listens through and heard through, and her friends, and are toxics, and they only think about now in the short term, a man is thinking of building a kingdom, an empire on this family. They work back home, they don't give up, they don't complain. But unfortunately, in today's world, it is so common. And what, what Tyrese is saying, like, did she ever loved you? Nah, she didn't, never loved you. And that, that sort of hits a lot of guys to even hear that, because whether you've been forced to be trapped, or the woman will play up or act up, or maybe because they have a bit of uh, maternal uh, depression, form of, you know, baby blue or whatever. Um, they disregard whatever what the man has built upon that lifestyle or the collaboration or whatsoever. And when you have like that, it is very hurt. Guys like Gibbs, uh, Tyrese, or even these guys, when they go through divorce, they cannot trust another woman again, ever again. Their brain is being damaged. PTSD. Yesterday is Mother's Day. I'm upset inside my heart because those days are supposed to be family reunited or with other families as well. And I remember once one of the years when I was with my partner, we had a massive, maybe like 50, 60 families and celebrating Mother's Day together. I don't think you understand how much that tradition that you had to walk away the family and the tears that you have to go through. It brings scars.